all right a wonderful good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel god's shadow here and you can see a couple of new cards in our deck first and foremost jigslid jailer um, which i have tested during the week and it has worked out pretty well it's just a really good foil against dredge for the most part um, they do not have removal outside of Dark Blast, and they would have to have it in hand to kill our Jigsaw Jailer, otherwise they do not have any way to get rid of it. And it just shuts down their entire graveyard. It shuts down Dredge, it shuts down all the recurring effects, triggers, everything. And therefore, if they didn't bring in... Um, what's it called? Assassin's Trophy then they cannot kill it and we can just go ahead and use our usual removal stuff to get rid of the board and then Jigsaw Jailer also hits for two a turn which is pretty neat um, I've tested it as I already said in a leak um, yesterday and I played against all the good players here on Modo so we beat the trophy leader this dude um actually a couple of really high stakes people and he's always playing dredge that's why i'm mentioning that especially and therefore yeah so that was a really good card i can only like if you have a lot of dredge in your meta if you want to beat it i can only recommend you playing a split between surgical neil spellbomb and jigslid jailer the most part that will work out and then um, in the league that I 5 0 uh, same league um, I played Ionize and Count Squall here to be a bit, little more reactive which was also pretty good actually I only had bad ma matchups I think that league I played against Dredge I played against Phoenix I played against Living Ends um, can't remember the rest. Oh, Dido Guidotti as well on Drix Shadow. So a really rough league. Um, but a 5 no oh anyway. Which of course I didn't report. <laughs> um, but we might after this league. Maybe I'll go over a couple of games on that one. Because it was pretty good, pretty fun. So today um, I'll actualize and dismember over... Um, Ionize because I just wasn't happy with Ionize and I also want to actively check out um, because the best card I think from Modern Horizons we haven't really gotten a good card in Modern Horizons for us but the best one possible I believe is I'm gonna keep this is Archmage's Charm um, here we could be casting Archmage's Charm on turn three we just have to figure out uh, how reliable we can do that and for that reason we would then change Bloodstained Mire for two more Scalding Torrents if we were to play Archmage's Charm Planes could be anything of course But I'm hoping, hoping for some sort of creature deck that is not leaving a path to exile here. So we don't necessarily need more lands. I think. Humans will benefit greatly from Modern Horizons. Yeah, it looks like Death and Taxes here. Nope. Yeah, I think probably yes. Still probably a yes. So 
Path of Exile is out of the mix here, so our Jays will definitely survive. And I think I'm not going to use Rise Forward just yet, because I don't know how many lands he does have in hand. Without a Vile, I guess he has to play a little more than is common. And we might want to discard our Snapcast Mage and bring it back with Rise Fall the other turn. Eternal Scorch. Alright, so it's Eldrazi in Texas. Total Scourge, of course, is somewhat of a pain in the ass, but as soon as we flip the Jays... So let's see, we want to counter this... Um, probably return Chalice here, right? And we just take three. Hmm. Discording a Snapcaster Mage here. To be a little careful or mindful of that scavenger ground, of course. Might be the chalice again here. Oh, yeah, all right. And that's just going to be. That is a weird sequence, but fine to me, fine with me. Hmm. So Blast Zone is interesting, I definitely want to have it out. Um, We don't really have a whole lot of cards to search for if we get hit by Ghost Quarter. Therefore, I think I'm gonna get rid of the Snapcaster Mage here again so that we have a creature in our graveyard indeed. And if we were to go, yeah, we can actually do that. This one. And we're gonna make him fall. Thalia and Serum Powder, both good hits, Serum Powder of course, to a lesser extent. Banishing Light. Mm. That is fine because 
we do have the Blast Zone, and he is playing Eternal Scorch as well. Therefore, um, we're going to get both of those. By the way, we have now two Eternal Scorch now, which is also something that we really don't have. On the other hand, though, of course, he does have Scavenger Grounds, and therefore, uh, uh, that's a little annoying because it's basically an engine. Alright. Yes, I would like to search uh, for blue source. So, of course, this way he isn't thinking about us actually protecting a cryptic command here. Orbiter. Arbiter by itself, of course, it doesn't do anything. I'll let that resolve. Is he? Th yeah, I think he's just not thinking about the Eternal Scourge there. Why wouldn't he do that otherwise? So let's see. Um, we're gonna go Snapcaster. No one makes sense. I'm fine with that trade. Did he have another scavenger grounds? Well, uh, all right. So I all right. He discard um sure makes sense so that he can use it again. So here, um, actually, only the targeted ability matters, and for that, just gonna wait here a second. He can sacrifice other deserts and he can sacrifice Shepherd Dunes. So I'm going to do this end of turn. Triggers are on the stack. Um, as long as we don't have anything. Oh, come on. The Shepherd Dune. At least advise us time. All right, now I think second one. All that is annoying. So now I'm going with Jace because, um, yeah, it also gets exiled when used, uh, when an ability is used. 
Hey, ability is being used. All right. Probably this one. Um, see you, Arrivederci. So Jace keeps all those passkeys gorgeous in check as long as we can protect him from other creatures, which is pretty nice. Counter draw. Just looking for K command at this point. Can of course also bounce it. Yeah. All right, I think, yeah, we got all our fetchable targets gone. I guess if he's playing Reality Smasher or some sort of that, then Polluted Delta still comes in handy as a Discord outlet. Otherwise, though. Now we do have to think about, let's see, if he had a land source I think he would have played because of the scavenger ground here. So what a thing we're going to do, we're going to bounce the Arbiter. Then we're gonna have a look. Oh shit! Yeah, totally forgot about that one. Um, that was not so good. Haha, <laughs> was the same as Spirit Guy, sure. Oh, that's still fine with me. All right, so this one's gonna go. All right, it's some sort of stalemate here that I don't really like. And all the he's a lot of graveyard hate with all the deserts. Both are attacking our chase. So the good thing is we can just go one one. So another chase. Yeah, I think we're just gonna kill it here. <clears throat> Either he re 
you place both internal scourges. So one's gonna go. So, I have to think about this real quick, because, oh no, it's fine. Just a joke. <clears throat> All right. Mm. So at some point we would like to um, get some sort of nimble obstructionist or something. Like we're at 28 cards. Don't even know how many cards we have left and that are doing anything. We still have a couple of tar pits, of course. One snapcaster. <clears throat> Oh, he's got a blast zone as well. All right. Constable is good, but we still have to get rid of the last desert there. Unless we can, of course, also counter it. Without nimble. Really super annoying here. This shit. Hmm, that's also interesting. Might have a lot another land of wars in hand. So, let 
this one. Rise, that one and that one. Bugger off. And now we really need to get going here with our nimble. Just crush his head in. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> we can't use it here yet. Um, Jace keeps that one in check. That's fine. Now we have all of the lands except for one um, blast zone and two torpids, so all of our bad lands basically. He's just waiting for another desert here. So he doesn't have to sack the scavenger ground. I will get there. I hope. Don't actually know what he could have. Probably another Sinsbury guy. No. Oblivion Ring. Alright, so this is a little annoying again because we have to go and cycle this one to counter the trigger. But at this point, yeah, like there's not a whole lot that we could still draw here other than just gas. Return and kill that one. Oh my goodness, what a long game. I think right now I'm just gonna go ahead here. Play the nimble. Need to get something going rather quickly. As long as we can keep one in check. We can also just bounce the nimble if necessary. All right, now is the time. Return target permanent. Draw card. One, two, three. Cycle, counter, draw card, last card in his hand is probably going to be <clears throat> a Simsbury guide or another land, otherwise Law of Siri just activated itself. Um, this one here, yes, thanks a lot. Sixty cores left in our deck. Ah, oh, we can also, like, if we can get uh, Jace to ultimate. Yeah, I don't mind. Mm-hmm. We could of course also just counter the Eternal Scorch at this point, but 
as long as I mean we have the J's, um, there's no need to act here in any way. Also, for anyone doubting that J's, this, these are the games where he shines. The weird Wombo combos. Yeah, have it. At this point, I just think he's stalling. Trying to get us to run down a little bit of time. Simon Spirit Guide. To play another Simon Spirit Guide, yeah, sure. Killing that one. One, two, three. Last zone is also pretty good. My freaking god, we have been drawing so many lands. Well, at this point, though, I'm pretty sure that we're not going to lose this anymore. And our opponent, of course, isn't so far ahead in terms of time. Thought not see, uh, that's something that I would like to counter. Alright, so it's K command time. We're gonna destroy and deal to damage. So, regions nimble, nimble, both top. Oh, wait. Of course, need to draw it first. Bottom, top. Chosen some one, sure. I mean. We could have even countered the trigger there. That it would go to exile, I think. Definitely not playing against. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Fulminator Mage might actually be a thing that we would want to have. I'm not quite certain on that though. This one, this one. Most of the other cards were pretty good. Despite the fact that he's playing so much prison stuff. And land hate that I'm actually inclined to not go with Electrolyze here. He's got Thalia, he's got Leon in Arbiter. But that's it, right? No. I think I'm not gonna cut. No. Probably gonna cut here a little bit. Maybe one Electrolyze just because. 
he's playing so much graveyard hate. It's really difficult for us to interact. Let's keep. Rather slow the hand, but. It's got a decent curve. We find a different land. Alright, um, let's start off with Serum Visions. Alright, there's a Swamp, and that's fine. Bottoming and the other Serum Visions there. Then that Pulu Delta is going to become... Well, that's not a good sign, because that probably means that our opponent is coming along with the Thought Not Sia this turn. Wrong, sure. Can't really do anything about it. The only upside is so if he's taken the crypt command here. So this is going to fetch for 3, and that's going to be a blood crypt. Iron, Scion of Forza. Thalia is annoying but doesn't do a whole lot. Um, Arbiter, of course, can get. can become problematic. But I think for right now I'm just gonna go with Karn because he needs a white source. So since he still has the Arbiter, I'm going to discard the Cryptic Command here. Just because we could be stranded with... Yeah, it's a little late to activate that. Let's go underground, friend. Alright. So, at least the... What's going on here? Not the correct phase, right? Yep, Thalia. That's fine. Um, so... Kalitas. Ticking up here. And then I hope we have a really good next turn here. We can kill the Tholnotia, get a trigger. Sure. Have Logic not up. Let's see. One, two. Nah, this doesn't work that way. Okay. <laughs> Go attacking. And now it's going to be problematic for our opponent to do anything here. Don't think 
that he yep, can wiggle his way out of here. All right, good first round, pretty interesting game one. Hope you enjoyed it and see you for round number two. All right, welcome to round number two. <clears throat> All right, so looks like it's yet another death in Texas show here. I think I'm gonna sort of with Warrior Grave and then go top top here. <clears throat> if Leon in Arbita hits the battlefield, now we can still respond with this member. Otherwise, yeah, Thalia is also. I'll actually fetch you already. Force demands. <clears throat> so that the Ethelwal is not gonna be a problem. <clears throat> So our opponent at this point probably thinks that we're actually playing Rix's Shadow and not Rix's Control. Tight Hollow Scholar. Now this is a little bit of a problem here because we would need to let it resolve. But I'm not going to. Go into. Because now the card that he chooses just exiled, but if he gets our terminate and we can't get rid of whatever, um, then he can still just use one of the uh, drowsy processors in order to get rid of it. I hope that he's gonna take like a cryptic command here or whatever so that we can follow him. Rise fall is certainly the correct pick here. But then we still have thoughts here, so no matter what he takes here. I'm inclined to think that it's alright. As long, I mean, we dealt ourselves. All right. <clears throat> Ten damage already. I think we're gonna either bounce an Aethervile by the end of things here or the Flicker Wisp in order to get the Inquisition rolling.
could be punished by another flicker wisp here, of course. And I don't even think that's very unlikely. Two flicker wisps, of course, very problematic. But by the way he played it, I uh, won't tell that he was actually uh, playing around. Remove my, uh, spells there. And that's fine. So what we're gonna do? We are going to play nimble block a flicker wisp. Take five, and then next turn return to hand. So here we have to board a little differently because our opponent is playing different kinds of creatures. Um, don't want to have a thought seize. And I think cryptic command is also not. So this Death and Texas shell is way stronger than what we played against before. At least against control. On the other hand, though, Electrolyze is just a whole lot better here, because he's got so many one toughness creatures. Starting off with Blood Stamire here. Look, going for Steam Ants, and then and this is probably going to shock for Watery Grave to set up all Kalidas without having to fear Leonin Arbiter. So that was a snap keep on the 6. For I assume that he does have Vile again. Let 
like that one. This way, of course, we don't necessarily need to go with Pollute Delta here, but I think the risk is just too high. So we're going to go with a red source here again. <clears throat> Scholar is really a pain in the ass. We have loads and loads of removal spells for it, but... If he does have that Eldrazi, that pesky Eldrazi off the top here. So let's see if he attacks, because he could be thinking about Snapcaster Mage, of course. It does still attack, so... I assume he's not just going to pass the turn here. Arbiter by itself isn't even good enough to warrant us doing anything here. But it appears that he does have some sort of... Hmm. Well, that sucks. He knows about the last two cards in our hand. Could have also just let up on the Snapcaster Mage. And now he's gonna go with Kali does, of course. We're going to take it um, because we need Snapcaster Mage to be up next turn with Lodging Out in case we don't draw anything good. Jace can block Thought Not. Gideon is, of course, very annoying, not gonna lie. Now we also have a path to exit. Well, well. Hmm. 
So he's probably not going to run in, yeah. run into our. Fuck. So we actually got that covered now, and this color dance command combined with our snapcast image could actually kill both of this, the creatures there. So we're just gonna wait here. Another good thing is. I think we're just gonna take the two here. Not do anything. Alright, Thalia is somewhat annoying, but that means that probably. So taking two this turn, next turn we could theoretically block. So definitely want to have that one. And then I guess... We're gonna go nimble collective brutality. So we can cast lightning bolt and nimble this turn, which is pretty neat. Electrolyze will take care of Thalia, maybe even Coldance command next turn. Cryptic command is probably gonna go to the bottom, and this one's gonna go to the top, but I'm gonna discard it. I just want to have access. So let's see what's more important here. Electrolyze next turn costs us four mana. This means that we'll have three mana up. To kill something else. Um, and he's gonna have one less. So just one. No, I think we're gonna block here. Kill the Ethalia. Yeah. 
and then uh, we can just call guns command make him discard or kill Lee dot confident of course um, and have snap custom image up therefore a nimble is gonna come in here And of course, not really what we wanted, but that's fine. Return and kill. Hmm. A third shambling man. We don't really have a good way of dealing with that. That's somewhat annoying. That is rather good. So of course we have to hope now that he in fact does not draw or did not draw just another land. Doesn't look like it. So I want to provoke him to using that. Yeah. Um, so that our torpid actually survives. That's a good one. Hmm. Unlucky, but we have eight damage. Playing rise fall here is really not necessary. Not the best sand. Thalia, Kambal, Wasteland, Strangler. Thalia is probably where we need to be. Despite the fact that. <clears throat> Kambal is a pain in the ass, but up until that moment, we probably might have a solution. 
answer. Good draw by our opponents. So if you play the Jays right now, last zone, he's got two, three mana pieces. Bottom. So he's going to play the Kambal. We're taking two additionally to next turn, down to 10. Flicker Wisp is annoying, of course, but Strangler is even more so because now our Inquisition is in exile, and so he would be able to process it. Question is, is he going to. Yeah. Pressures here. So I guess this one. Do we know the last card in his hand? Don't think so. So we're going down to two then, though. This way we're only going down to four, which is fine. Not great, but fine. Pretty much dead here. And a Gideon up the top. We cannot beat. So I think the only thing that really saves us now would be either Scorpion God or Kalitas here on the top. Um, these two do not do it. <clears throat> Yeah. 
passado. E, hum, Oh my goodness. One more card. But we also didn't draw any removal in that game, which made it a little bit awkward. All right, let's protect our JC first. It's gift. Uh, it's storm. So um, probably going after Baral here. Bottom, top, kill, go. Alright, no land drop. We are not gonna go with Fall here because of the Remand in the sand, he just wants to draw a card anyway. He may only reveal an instant or sorcery card, which of course sucks if you're, yeah. Looking to make your map, hmm, fucker. So, he does have gifts and given, right? Yeah. Not willing to do anything about it here, which is rather interesting. I think I'm gonna go and be even more aggressive. Even the juicy target here with the lightning bolt, yeah. That's actually what I wanted because now, obviously. We have a free reign with our Gifts and give him a minimum of foes. Two good hits there. Although, on the other hand, one has to say, still has these three cards in hand of the four. And let's see, let's really calculate here real quick. So, one to four, cast that one. Five. If it rolls a land card, we're pretty much dead here, right? 
think. Okay, go off. Would have dealt 11 damage here, not enough to kill him. Um, taking remands. If he doesn't have an electromancer here, I don't see. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Doesn't really matter how we do it, it's dead anyway, so. Of course he would have needed another desperate ritual there, so. Um, so we could be going with Jigsla Jailer here to prevent the flashback from the graveyard. The last zone is not really good. This member is also not a card that I'm really inclined to have here. Um... So our job for the rest of the game is just to draw lands, for the most part. Obviously, if he plays a mana dog here, which he doesn't, is he looking for mana? Uh, still without red mana, of course. Things aren't super great. Alright, five mana, maybe one more, so we can have Cryptic Command and something else. Other than that. Excuse me. Well, he has the land drops. At, the, at least. Also, quite beautiful ones, if I might add. So, question is are we going to make a move yet?
probably not yet. Reason being that the most likely outcome for him to Remands to the graveyard. Desperate ritual to the graveyard. All right. So this is the very reason um, I didn't want want to engage last turn. We need to let this resolve. Now he's gonna start to crumble off. On the stack, we are gonna kill that thing. Hmm. I think we let this one resolve. See if it's yeah. Gonna go with another one. That is four. Could be pieces of the puzzle, uh, not pieces of the puzzle. Um, fuck. Play the land already, I think. Right. Yeah, play the land. So we he wouldn't need another ritual, yeah. Come on. Come on. Lucky, lucky. Of course, he does know that we have a lightning bolt here. That's not a card that we knew about. Therefore, still at least these three cards in hand. All right. 
So we'd like to utilize the Ceravisions. Rice Fall is a good card, but as it stands, might be. So, now we do have a pretty discard heavy turn here. Last one's gonna go. I want to have this one. Pulsies. <clears throat> So, I think we let this resolve because we have both control over his graveyard and his hand. Alright, Empty the Warren is definitely going to go to the graveyard. Mana of Fools I don't care about because we can still get rid of it with. All surgical. So passing flames also gonna go to the graveyard. And then let's see. So So if we take Grape Shot here, and then go with Fall. Hmm, two Pyretic Rituals. So, that's of course, for this particular hit is the worst outcome. So these three cards still remain in his hand. One we can counter, or we could go after Burrell. I think our Jace is gonna go... After Manama Foe's here. Leaving him with two cards and fewer things to do on the stack. That is what I thought, that's why I didn't use the logic knots. Really tough spot for him to go off here. Um, probably not going to use anything here. Well, that is fine and so far that we get it back to hand. I 
and we can do the same thing next turn again. Two rituals. I'm just having a look here what he did. One card to the top, one to the bottom. Sure. We could counter this, or we could just counter the first ritual that he's gonna play, but he might just go with um, Grapeshot there, or Empty the Warrens, and then we won't be able to counter it anymore. Good games! Hello everybody, and welcome to round number four. What's going on? Yep. Feels like let's keep it. So I'm going to go with the Black Trips here. Hmm. Obviously he wants to play Noble Hierarch with the Vile. He also does have a really good hand here. Best case scenario for us, we take the meddling mage here. He doesn't yet know what we play. I hope that he thinks we're on Rix's shadow. So we take the meddling mage. Yeah, plays Ding, Vides in the Noble Hierarch, sure. Hmm. We know 
about the Reflector Mage in hand, therefore I'm not going to play the Jace here. He's looking for another Thalius Lieutenant here. I think... We're just killing that one as well. <clears throat> To have our electrolyze up here, up and run. The blast zone, pretty good. If he keeps the Reflector Mage back here in order to uh, get our Death Shadows that we do not have quite fine with that. Mm. This is supposedly a Kite of Freebooter. Could of course also be a Thalia, but. Smells like Thalia. Thank you. 
So he's still keeping that Reflector Mage in hand, which is quite interesting because he needs to have the pressure on the board. Men's right is annoying, I'm not gonna lie. So either we tap draw or we bounce Thalia. Problem is that the reflect image, of course, will get rid of our nimble if we were to use it to block that after a while. Right, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So we could force Reflect the Mage here, of course, but then we take at least five, maybe seven. Next turn, we're dead. <clears throat> so in order to activate our Thoughtseize here, I think... We're gonna get rid of the Aethervile. He's not playing anything. So we actually can go... Kill Thalia 2. Thought sees one nimble up. And then we only die to top decked Mantis Rider. Oh, makes sense and that he does 
or declines to attack. Okay, command. It's interesting. Of course, he does have another out as well. I mean, Mantis Rider just is lights out for us. On the other hand, though, he does have. Reflector Mage here. No. A Melee Mage. Let's <clears throat> respond here before something ugly happens and he just names Nimble and we're dead. Fail push, of course, is not a card that we do employ. So we could be attacking, but I'll wait for one more turn. As I said, another Magic Rider or Thalys Lieutenant off the top here, or Reflector Mage would of course be horrendous for us. Yep. So we're just gonna go ahead here, bolt the bird in this time. In this scenario, it's the bolt the mantis. And then, of course, I would like to attack with everything, but since we don't have don't have any removal spell, despite the chance being really slim that he's gonna draw a mantis right off the top. I'm not willing to risk it here. Meddling Mage, sure. Interested in seeing what that names. Shouldn't be naming Colligan's command because that is probably the best value that we get out of the, that Jace this turn.
course that's being very cautious here and we could have him down to eight already One can never be cautious enough, right? So we do have K commands coming up here. And I think that should do it. <clears throat> Close games there. Usually I don't like to be playing Serum Regions in this matchup. Because Thalia just punishes playing them so insanely. I gotta say, today we get a couple of really cool matchups. None of the really degenerate stuff. Excluding. Uh, Storm. Maybe. Hmm. So I'm going to go with an Inquisition here first because, well, put a land on top or a Noble Hierarch. So usually we would need to take Auric Champion here. But that leaves us pretty open to meddling mage. He's gonna name lightning bolt over. Pretty fucked. That was a very risky keep by our opponent. So, Auric Champion. He 
is going to play Thalia next turn. Nimble Obstructionist can kill the Auric Champion if he attacks the turn after that one. You just want to get rid of Champion of the Parish here. Already going with Lieutenant, interesting. So down to eleven. That's quite the annoyance. Perfect. Attacking before Thalia comes down. And this is going to be punished. We're still lacking a little bit of mana, of course, but for the most part. We've gotten rid of the first wave here. I think we take this one hit to get down our chase, set up our draws, maybe he's drawing a blank here. Otherwise, a flip chase can keep Thalia in check, last zone does the rest, you take 4 here, take 1, go down to 6. So Kali tells of course requires us to have double black but bolt snap bolt also wants double red for So we won't probably want to play the island but I'm gonna loot the Jays first. See what we can get here. <clears throat> he didn't play land last turn, so I'm not sure if he does have two one drops in hand or if he's just sandbagging. A two drop there. Alright, so 
is probably going to go counter and bounce. Okay, so apparently I was like, not playing anything can also not be correct here. Yep, that's perfect. No Hyrak. I do like it. So I want to kill the Thalia, I think. Um, next turn we have... Last one for a good kill couple of kills here and we can inquisition him as, as well so let's go inquisition another thalia which you cannot play which is also not very relevant so i'm gonna go after the ethavile of course the ethavile mana let's go with this one I feel like I do not know which game this is. This is this game too. I was talking about Kalitas just a couple of seconds back, right? Must be game two. So let's see if our opponent's gonna draw. Um, actually, Good hit. Cavern of course is also not too shabby. Hmm. At this point it's already almost impossible. For our opponent to get there. I gotta say though, with the new lieutenant coming up, the matchups is in the matchup is gonna get harder over time.
probably name this number. That is weird. All right, good games, opponent. All right, let's head on and jump into round number five. Oops. All right, it took a while, but here we are. Make wind souls. Horrible, horrible land situation. By the way, currently there is no Tron on Moto. After the first couple of weeks post War of the Spark, there was basically only big mana, Tron being one of the most played decks. But right now there's none to be seen. And I wonder why that is the case. So I get it, I'm getting blue white vibes here. Although I'm not quite certain of it yet. Mm. I think we're gonna go bottom bottom here. Since we don't necessarily know that it's blue white yet. But again, important to take note here would have been able to take. No. <clears throat> to play Arc Mage's Charm on turn three. Now. I would usually go with the Snapcaster Mage Serum Vision here, but since he's threatening to fairy, could just bounce our Snapcaster Mage without a Lightning Bolt. We're unable to respond. Therefore, I'm just going to go ahead. Play that Snapcaster Mage somewhat aggressively. Click. Click at this point is really unfortunate. Thank you. 
Well, Narset is not too bad. Ah, oh, very. <laughs> Pop as well. Sure. So don't want to show him the Oh come on. Gotta be oh, damn you. Lucky, lucky bitch. If we, of course, get a land here off of a path to exile, I'm fine with that. If we don't, that means RG survives, and that's fine as well. Looted Delta. Nor said surgical disdainful stroke. Okay. Kinda weird, but okay. Of course, the surgical is quite good to just check our hands before he wants to go into a counter war. Nonetheless, though,
as long as that surge pulls up probably not going to do anything here ah, come on now we have a problem it's going to surgical over for take was still correct to use the cryptic there in order to get around the disdainful stroke but that we drew another cryptic of course was a little unfortunate in that particular situation otherwise good draw <clears throat> So if I'm correct, he should still have... Oh, come on. Let's see. Um, targeting us, right? Well, this can only mean that he does have a cryptic, uh, a supreme grade, right? Now, it could also mean that he does have an angel. Well, we have lethal at least. Interesting. Jay's dead. 
<clears throat> that kid is why the Stadium Tool Show is just, just a bad card. So, he also hasn't seen all the Fulminator mages that we brought in. He's got a lot of clicks though. I think... Despite Terminate being pretty alright. Mm. I think on the draw I wanted to have Electrolyze here for all the pesky cards that he's playing. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna start off with Inquisition here to protect our Jays, and then if he balances all Jays with Lightning Bolt to Seferi, or kill on our set. It's a little weird, of course. So, path. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go with the Snapcaster. Take the land off of the path to exile. Run into Narset or Teferi if that should come up. <laughs> so he does have a field, therefore we should actually be fetching for a water grave here. There is a surgical. Right now I don't want to have either of these.
so we could of course go bounce draw here a well, thing that's just not good enough so that's just going to be nylons this is going to be steam vents oh no lands no fifth land drop that's not good Probably gonna dove in Zvedos here, I would imagine. If he's gonna come around with like say cryptic command or something, then we were to counter the cryptic. Yep. Okay. So counter and return the colonnades. Hmm. Sucks. Right now he goes and find what he needs. But if he bounces our okay. So Jay's dead. Could have also attacked with the tar pit. Better to keep up our cryptic here. So I'm almost certain that he does have a path in hand or a way to oh. then he was just tricking us in that instance there. Shall I <laughs> Restoration Angel Supreme Verdict Lord? Let's see, Restoration Angel is probably going to come up here. Yeah. So, do we know? We don't. Counter draw. So, shall I is going to be a problem. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, then we'll just wait and see, I guess. No, we're not. I'm just gonna go. Bolt him. Snap him.
don't believe it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, um, now let's go after Cryptic Command as well. I don't think that he's actually playing full Cryptics here. Maybe it's better to go after Snapcaster Mage. So we still have a Lightning Bolt in our graveyard. How do we not kill Teferi here? Probably with a path, right? Ah, snap in hand. And the Dovin's Widow. Well, at least that's good to know. Because that probably means that he's gonna go ahead here. Play the snap in order to um, save his Teferi. Of course, we cannot allow. So snaps come down. Up to three, four, five. He's still missing a land drop, though. Not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we discard the Supreme Verdict. We could go... We could go after the Dovin's Veto, of course, here already. Because if he draws a land source, that would be pretty bad. Apologies. Interesting, 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 interesting. He's throwing a lot of snapcasters here. So question is, he has a shock, yeah. We can race him though, right? With three turns on him. Is he attacking us? Yeah. We still have to terminate. Plus any lightning bolt is lethal, there it is. Um, he 
doesn't have a path to exile, therefore we should be good here. Good. Good games, opponents. So we had a good league. Um, I did not play perfectly in that matchup against Black White Aldrazi. I think that I should have played the Jace earlier in the game and just have taken. What's that, that game? Uh, the Kambal. So either way, well, we also didn't draw any removal spells, which was very unfortunate, but I think from a. No, but otherwise we get blown out in that situation, therefore. But might still be not um, the correct play there. Otherwise, deck has been pretty good again. Um, as I said, this is going to be an Arc Mage's Charm at some point, as soon as it releases on Moto, and then we will have to adjust a little bit with our mana base. But right now, right now it looks like we could be like 70-75% of the time casting Arc Mage's Charm on turn 3. Sometimes it will bite us, of course, but we shall see if it's worth it or not. On that, uh, we didn't really get a chance to have a look at Jigslit Jailer here, but trust me, it's a really good card. Definitely want to use that one. And yeah, um, in regards to Kess, as many of you have asked me if it's a good, if it's a good card for us, um, I don't think it's effective enough, uh, efficient enough, affected, effective it is. But um, on four mana, she's on face value worse than Nicole Bolas. And then, of course, she generates a lot of card advantage. But if we flip Bolas, that would be quite the same. So, um, not really convinced. But if so many people of you want to see her, then I will try to make her work. We have a couple of flex slots. And yeah. See you around. I will probably upload another video here during the weekend. I actually didn't last weekend because I was without internet up until yesterday, I think. And yeah, so like, subscribe, and have a look at my channel in between. Cheers, guys.